Hi YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft on my WoW Wednesdays. So where we left off, uh, when Junju uh, just arrived with the little water spirit into this little village here. And uh, the problem we find uh, since we've gotten here is that the earth spirit, it kind of looks like a spirit with a cow face on it, um, won't wake up. And so um, uh, G... Firepaw, I think his name is, um, is trying to wake him up, and while he's doing that, we are going to go around and kind of help the villagers with a couple of their problems. One are with these vermin that uh, keep stealing their crops. You can see they've got a lot of crops, um, pumpkins and carrots and things like that, so we're trying to get rid of these vermin for them. So... That is one of the first things we're going to do. And then the other thing is kind of reclaim some of the stolen crops. Um, the carrots and pumpkins and um, I forget if they're rutabagas or radishes or some kind of root vegetable. <laughs> um, Alright, so I've, I've there's a lot of vermin that I end up killing, so I just kind of skipped past a lot of that. Um, and then one of the first places um, I reclaim some of the vegetables. We haven't even the pumpkin patch right now, but there is um, a cave here or a burrow that these vermin have created, and they've filled it with primarily carrots. So I'm coming down in here to kind of reclaim some of the stolen carrots. These things look like a... Um, Kind of like evil bunny rabbits is what I, I mean. I think they're supposed to be like they're rodents um, of some kind or another, but because of the long ears, um, they they kind of look like bunny rabbits with rat tails to me. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, and I just uh, leveled up, so I just went ahead and uh, kind of uh, reorganized my rotation a little bit um, to add in the new skill that I just learned with, uh, with that level up. So now at level seven. Alrighty, got another one of those guys and we have another carrot to reclaim here. And, uh, got all the carrots. Now we've got to go find, um, the other, uh, stolen, um, crops. And I kind of looked down here initially because I thought, well, maybe there's some pumpkins down there. Could some of these be some of the stolen pumpkins? But turns out there's there there were no other pumpkins in here. This was just um, a carrot um, crop down there. So I just kind of skipped past some of that since I was just kind of digging around in there, seeing if there's anything. And uh, now I'm just kind of using the map to find where the stolen pumpkins are, and they're right over here in this uh, kind of grove. So going ahead and uh, picking these guys up and uh, more vermin here and I just kind of looked around and said okay so we're we're gonna get my most bang for my buck in terms of um, the most stolen crops I can pick up with the least amount of uh, vermin killing because I've gotten all of the vermins killed that I needed to so and sorry it's not vermins it's just vermin one vermin, two vermin. <laughs> it's kind of like one deer, two deer. No uh, no S on the end for the plural there, so if anyone uh, caught me saying vermins there, sorry about that. Alright, so we've got those guys. Now we have one last stolen crop left, and it's that root thing, I think. I forget, again, if they're uh, radishes or rutabagas or something, but... Oh yes, and uh, she is a miner, so I am having her mine... Uh, any nodes as we come along them and I'm skipping a lot of those the mining um, but every now and again um, I just happen to find one right in the middle of the action and so I can just go grab one real quick rather than uh, going out of my way to uh, to grab it I'm just kind of looking around like okay how do I where do I go to get to those uh, last bit of vegetables that we need Just kind of running around, and I'm like, oops, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I was heading towards the uh, the quest turn in, and I have two quests that I can turn in, but I have this third one I should uh, complete first. So, it's kind of running through this pumpkin patch here. And, yep, here's one. And you'll notice in the background in the water, um, something kind of strange... Um, 
kind of moving around in the water and I kind of give a little bit better view of that in a second but it kind of lends itself a little bit towards um, some of the mystery of what's going on uh, with the island that we're on and uh, why it's called the Wandering Isle. For those of you who are watching this, I mean, many of you probably have played through um, the Mists of Pandaria already, and so you probably know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who um, have not yet um, played um, World of Warcraft, or at least the most recent expansion, you may not know uh, what the Wandering Isle is or the significance of this what looks like a giant flipper out in the water. Although it becomes rather apparent pretty quickly. Um, it won't happen in this particular episode, but um, one or two more episodes in and you will definitely see exactly what is going on with this island. Alright, so you can just kind of have a better view of the flipper and uh, kind of the edge of the island over here. I just thought I'd kind of give a little glimpse of that for those of you who um, have not played through this game yet. Alrighty. So now if we can go ahead and turn in these quests. And there'll be a couple of more things that we'll, we'll need to help um, the villagers out with while we're here. But one thing at a time. I always try and find the best way for me to get back without having to fight again if I don't have anything else to uh, to collect with my uh, with my grinding. If I don't need to grind, I'm not going to bother. Um, and here I'm just kind of trying to outrun one of the vermin because you know why not? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this in over here. And there he has his missing. Uh, missing crops or stolen crops back and um, I also picked up some new uh, new armor items so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda put those on real quick and you'll notice a color change as I'm putting them on from kind of a um, beige to a kind of a blue color as I'm uh, as I'm putting them on yep there we go the blue pants and the blue chest Yep, there we go. And then um, kind of organizing things a little bit so I know what I'm going to be selling at a vendor later. I kind of like keeping my bags real organized, but here I'm about to skip past a lot of that. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I just kind of looked at the map again to, uh, to figure out what I'm doing. And there's that sleeping little earth spirit. All right, so we still haven't woken him up yet. Now the next thing is, oh, well, maybe we can bring this gong over here. And by ringing the, you know, we need to go find the special mallet so we can ring the gong. So that's the next thing. And uh, besides that, there's one other quest giver right behind me. There he is. Uh, the same guy that we've been helping before uh, in, in terms of he likes to have me gather things that he can karate chop in half. <laughs> Um, with the singing pools, he was karate chopping the, the reeds, and now he wants me to pick up some lumber. And uh, over here is where the mallet is, and as I'm approaching, I see that there's this big um, kind of pseudo-boss dude, um, boss vermin. I mean, he's not an elite or anything, and um, I just kind of skipped past a whole bunch of things because I went and picked up a, a lot of the lumber, which I thought was kind of boring to show, so um, I thought I would skip past that and just kind of get straight into the action of uh, dealing with this guy. He was actually pretty tough to, uh, to fight. You can see that he's getting my health down um, almost as quickly as I'm getting his health down. Uh, but I, I managed to kind of overcome him eventually. So, but he's a, he was kind of tough for a non-elite. But I have to get past him in order to get the mallet, because the mallet was sitting right next to him, so. Alright, almost got him now. But you can see how low my health got um, in, in the fight with him, so. You know, like I said, he's a pretty tough for a non-elite character. Alright, so got that. Yeah, I better go grab that mallet before he respawns. Alrighty, and now we can go turn that in. If 
first thing I'll do is turn in the wood so that our uh, friend, I think his name is Jojo, I trying to think of off the top of my head, and I think he's the one who's gonna like break the the lumber in half, and then we'll we'll continue to progress through um, various various things. He keeps following us to different locations and has uh, different things he has us collect so he can break them and uh, show off his skills to the little kids. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the farmstead, and we're going to go ahead and turn that in, and uh, the next thing I'm going to have to do is ring the, uh, the gong, but uh, first I'm going to talk to him, and I was doing more um, organization of my uh, bags there, which is why you saw that uh, little skip in the action. All right, so here we go. Here he's gonna go demonstrate his prowess once again to the children and um, impress the locals. There we go. <laughs> yep, that's his name is Jojo. All right, so now let's go ahead and ring the gong and see if we can't wake up this sleeping spirit. And nope, he's still sound asleep. <laughs> All right, so now we've got another quest, and this time he asks, um, Gee, can you just go get your water spirit friend and see? Maybe he can wake this guy up. Because <laughs> nothing we've tried is helping. So uh, our little water spirit friend is uh, just kind of playing over here. So we'll talk to him and see if he can help us out. Yep, there he goes. And his solution? Splash the earth uh, spirit with water. <laughs> uh, and then they kind of chase each other around a little bit, like kids. Um, like, hey, what did you do that for? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was kind of amusing. Because they do look like, you know, little child spirits, not like full-grown adult spirits, but... Nonetheless, we now have an earth spirit and a water spirit. And we have a cart waiting for us um, to take us back to uh, the main temple again, since that's what we have to do. And then after uh, we turn these guys in, um, we have to go back out and uh, get the air spirit. Um, and then we'll finally have all four spirits, the fire, water, earth, and air, uh, return to the main temple. And then we'll be ready to go on to the next leg of our adventures here on the Wandering Isle. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and wind up this episode. So thank you for joining me. Until next week, bye-bye. <laughs>